Inspiration. <clears throat> Inspiration. What's up, guys? I'm Dan. And I'm Danny. Welcome back to another episode of Poor Michigan Beer. Today we have another seltzer review, guys. It is near and dear to us, Traverse City, Michigan. This is Middle Coast Brewing Company. Uh, hard seltzers. We have a ginger snap and a peppermint bark suitable for the upcoming holiday. Yeah. What do you think? I'm a little nervous about these flavors. And why is that? I don't know. <laughs> because I think these flavors are interesting profiles yeah. to kind of capture. We're talking about, guys, ginger snap. I mean, some kind of cookie. And we're talking about peppermint bark. I mean, those are very uh, tough flavor profiles well, that have never just, been really done for seltzers, right? Yeah, you don't think about, like, drinking them. No, or and, But I did tag Dan in this. So I had heard about the Middle Coast, like, these seasonal seltzers coming out. And then literally, like... I feel like a month after, recently, I've seen Bud Light Seltzer. Mm -hmm. They're doing like an ugly sweater pack, mm -hmm. and it has peppermint bark. It has like a ginger snap, and then it has like apple crisp, maybe. I don't know. And like cranberry. I'm not sure. Anyway, but I feel like Middle Coast did it first. So I don't know if they had like an inn or some like... Shout out to Ever City. Yeah, Anyways, I don't know. You guys might have done it first, but Middle Coast, really inviting, super cool brewery. Uh, mm -hmm. Very nice to Danny and I, let's be honest. They're, they're cool with us on social mm -hmm. media. So shout out Middle Coast. And they really uh, didn't release this uh, until November 1st, but we were able to get our hands on this, although maybe distributed locally. Yeah. Um, you're not able to get this on tap yet, but we were mm -hmm. able to buy a six pack, a mix six pack. So three mm -hmm. of each of these to go, uh, for like nine bucks. So really reasonable, super awesome quality and price point yeah. factored in. So which one are we doing first? Let's talk about it. Ginger snap? Ginger snap? I don't, know. I I don't feel know. like so, the peppermint might like overwhelm our palates. I'm not sure. I really enjoyed their first round of seltzers. We did the cherry, the cranberry... Cucumber. Uh, cucumber. So those are all three different ones. Today we have these, which are sitting at 100 calories, no carbs, no added sugar, no protein, pure Michigan product of the USA, guys. Uh, yeah, that's that's the border baseline for calories. And no carb. Ooh, wow, that was an explosion. But yeah, so I don't know if they're going to like Ooh. end up doing like other seasonal flavors. I would literally told Dan in the... Um, like, when we were at Middle Coast today, I'm like, pumpkin spice? Like, I feel like that would just be, like, crazy with girls in, like, this season. It'd be I'm like, yeah, it'd be how has hot. nobody done a pumpkin spice seltzer? If Remember. somebody has, I guess, let us know. Remember Danny said it first. Um, I feel like this might interfere slightly with our palate because we just had a spicy chicken from <clears throat> Hot Lot. But it, it could interfere with, like, a spicy kind no. of, like profile on our palate just let's i had milk there you go then danny had milk i will just say crazy carbonation streaming mm -hmm. to the top again this is that baseline um macronutrient calorie all that across the board 100 calories a Clear, little, like, like a little, little cloudy, tint, little cloudy yeah. tint in there uh nose ginger ginger tons of ginger sure. that's why i said it could interfere with that spicy chicken yeah I will say I watched a quick video on the making of this seltzer, mm -hmm. and I think they put macadamia nut in yep. there, which is an interesting yeah, profile. They said to mimic more of a cookie feel. Yeah. Cool little bit from their brewers, uh, worth mentioning. But it smells like Pure ginger, ginger beer. Pure ginger. Yeah, let's just go to a cheers. I don't yeah. think it's artificial either. It smells legit. So, cheers, Middle Coast. Not gingery. spicy, but yeah. gingery. Cookie feel. Yeah. It really that. has that, like, the back end's, like, kind of like that sugary. So weird. It's not, no, it's not, though. Is but it? no, like, no, I mean, I mean, like, like a sugar cookie. Like, I don't mean, like, sugary, like, sweet, but. I can't believe this is a seltzer. This is a crazy flavor profile in here. It's, it's gingerbread. Kind of like cinnamony. Yep, it's got cinnamon. Dash cinnamon, that can be overdone. This one isn't. I'll say that macadamia kind of complements the cinnamon, kind of nutmeggy feel, um, coupled with the ginger. The only, I feel like it can come across as really like candly. It is. Like. There is a little bit on the back end. Yeah. But like for, a little bit of vanilla. -y. Yeah. Oh yeah. Vanilla uh, uh, 
Candle. It is. It is a little vanilla, vanilla candle on the back end. Fitting for the holiday? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Something you want to drink year-round? Mm -hmm. Debatable. I feel like possibly you could use, like, this in, like, making a Moscow Mule. You could. And... Put a little twist on it. Yeah, because I'm not sure if I, like, enjoy it by itself. It's different. I mean, yes. I don't think this was meant to be normal in any way. I, don't, I, I think they're attacking no. flavor profiles yeah. that have never been touched before. Yeah, I'm just talking about, like, as far as, like... So let's move that over. Drinkability. I mean, I will say gingerbread, they nailed the flavor. Oh yeah, that's gingerbread. Yeah, I mean, Ginger you're getting it's 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 as advertised, guys. So mm -hmm. you're getting that as it is. Um, as we move on, peppermint bark, mm -hmm. which is another crazy flavor that no one thinks. Yeah, of. well, I mean, like, peppermint do bark is like kind of chocolate. This. What is this like cola? Like what is this? No, because peppermint bark has I chocolate, know, and this. then the this peppermint is, is in the chocolate. Crazy vibe. But for a seltzer, yeah, it's crazy cola vibe to it. It literally looks like Coke. Yep. It's pouring Coke, guys. I mean, this could be Coke. No, it's sugars, too. So if it goes for, like, this, like, chocolatey vibe, then. But, yeah, it looks like soda. Aroma. It, that is spot on. Spot on. It literally smells chocolate, like. Chocolate, mint. Hot chocolate that you put, like, a peppermint stick in. I, I get chocolate, mint. I get peppermint. Uh, subtle it's, mints. Um, it's Andy's Mints. Andy's Mints. Yeah. The chocolate. Oh my god. It smells delicious. It does. It smells really freaking good. Yeah, this smells really good. Let's just leave it there. Let's dive in. Let's see. This is the hard seltzer peppermint bark from Middle Coast. I gotta give it to you guys. You 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 have completely they nailed the nailed. The, the flavor profile on a hard seltzer, mind-blowingly good for a hard seltzer to, to duplicate yeah. this kind of flavor. I don't think anybody's ever done this before. And, that, and if they have, please let me know. But this is the first that I've ever seen. This is crazy flavor. Crazy flavor in a seltzer form. Um, I don't get as much chocolate in the taste as I do the smell. That's crazy. But there's a lot of peppermint. But it's like... It's not overwhelming where, like, no. I feel like it doesn't linger a lot. Like, no. I was, that's what I was afraid with the peppermint is that it would just, like, overwhelm my palate. And then it would just, like, I would have, like, fresh breath. I didn't think I'd like either one of these. Um, this one truly has blown me away. I have, a, I have like, a yeah. minty peppermint fresh breath vibe. God, it smells in the, so good. It, it, and it tastes very good, too. It's just, I don't picture this being a seltzer. But it is. They have capsulated a, a peppermint bark seltzer. I, I, I don't know that anybody's going to duplicate this or this yeah. well. I, I just don't see I'm it interested to see, like, we totally have to get our hands on the Bud Light ones yeah. to, like, compare them. That's very good. Um, Natural flavor. There's nothing, yeah. like, artificial about this either. That's what's impressive. Is there's no artificial flavoring in either one of these. Peppermint bark, I'm going to go ahead and say right now, I prefer this to the ginger. Correct. But that's just I maybe too. I like these flavors better. Yeah. Chocolate, Andy's peppermint, milk chocolate, kind of dark minty chocolate in there as well. Mm -hmm. um, that cinnamon stick kind of, uh, what? One of these? Is this, what? what is this candy? Peppermint. Is it just peppermint? Okay, so just the candy peppermint. Candy cane. Yeah, candy cane. <laughs> that's, the, that's the word I was looking for. It just dipped into all those flavors. And it's exactly what it is as marketed. And you're getting the exact flavor profile yeah. of those things. Fantastic. They they smell like they should. They taste as they should. Yep. I don't know if I would necessarily, like, choose these just to, right. like, open a can and drink. I feel like they're more like a mixer. No, I feel like it's just it's just a limited time for the holiday. Yeah. Would but... I drink one of these for Christmas? Absolutely. Am I going to drink it in the middle of summer? Yeah. I don't know in the middle would. of summer? No, I probably wouldn't. I yeah. probably wouldn't. But to say that they didn't nail these flavor they profiles nailed the is flavors, wrong. They sure. nailed them. And do I think one is better than the other? Yes, I think it's the peppermint bark that takes first place. Yes, as far as like what I would probably drink. Just for my own flavor profile. Um, both smells are great. Yep. Um, again, I just feel like I would probably like use the ginger snap as like Moscow mule, like mixer. Um, yeah, if I were to drink one on the, its own, it would be the peppermint one. 5% sure. alcohol, tons of flavor, tastes like it has like sugar, but not artificial sugar. 
You're getting this at 100 calories, guys, per can. Slick packaging, super nice yeah. looking in the can. Highly, highly recommend. And when we were sitting at the bar today, mm -hmm. another couple a little bit older than us literally came in for the same thing. Where are the seasonal seltzers? Oh, we don't have them yet. Guys, people want them. Yeah. They're looking for them. Seltzers are a big part of, of breweries and, and the whole drinking scene now. This represents hard seltzers in a holiday form. Very, They're worth a try, very for well. sure. Worth a try. Mm -hmm. Get your hands on them if you can. I don't, how, I don't know how far the reach is from Not Middle true. Coast, but fantastic. If you can get them in Michigan, please do it, guys. Yeah, if you're um, in TC, go awesome. to the tap room starting November 1st. November 1st, we'll you can get it, guys. Go ahead and do yourself a favor. Uh, I think me and Danny rate Peppermint Bark in first place right here. Yeah, so you're sure. getting what you see as advertised. There's nothing fake about this. Super good flavor. Real solid profiles of flavor on these seltzers. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Interested to see if they do other flavors. I'm waiting on it. I'm Dan. And I'm Danny. This has been another episode of Poor Michigan Beer, guys. And remember, drink your Michigan beer and maybe sometimes seltzers too. Over and out. Cheers. Cheers.